Welcome to this exclusive program brought to you by JMI, the Jewish Music Institute, for the closing night of the Tzitzit Jewish Fringe Festival 2021. The Yemenite Jewish community originated from the destruction of the First Temple in 586 BCE at the hands of the Babylonian forces under the reign of Nebuchadnezzar. From that exile, a group of Jews travelled to what is now modern-day Yemen. Having travelled there, they remained in exile until the 19th century when numbers of them started to return to what is now modern-day Israel. This culminated in a mass migration in 1950, and today there are over 450,000 Yemeni Jews in Israel, but only six remaining in Yemen. They brought with them a rich heritage of religious, secular and devotional or diwan music. This diwan music covers a heritage of religious and secular themes. Yoav Oved, who has Yemenite ancestry, will now tell us much, much more. We just heard a short prayer taken from the Jewish High Holy Days of Slichot. In Yemen, synagogue and liturgical music were a vital part of everyday life. From there, all other poetry and song arose. One such famous poem which gained international acclaim is Imnin Alu, translated If They Were Locked. In the following clip, we hear an example of that poem in a few tunes with the accompanying dances. Here the clip starts with the nasheed. The nasheed is like an opening to the song or where we're going to be heading on to. The singer is very expressive and emotional at these points. The dancer comes in and is almost acting like a tree with head movements very similar to Indian dancing. The tree then withers and falls to the ground. Then they take the metal tray and start with the rhythm. The tray was actually used as part of um, the Yemenite mourning. In mourning, they don't play instruments, but can dance and sing. As the dancer rose up, the trees revived and starts dancing and enjoying life. Here he uses the common Yemenite footsteps and invites the young shy dancer to come dance with him. As he comes in, again, the similar head movements and they dance together. We will revisit all this later, so keep the pictures and the sound in mind. Yemenite song and dance was a vital part of daily life and indeed all life cycle events in Yemen, from births to bar mitzvahs to weddings and even funerals. All those are still being used today and relevant. For example, in Israel, people use it for weddings and for festive gatherings. Notice in the following clip how the crowd moves as one and people interact similarly to the first clip that we showed you with the dancers. Ah, 
The singer, Tsion Golan, who sang for the clip we just saw, is one of the more prominent ethnic Yemenite singers in Israel today. He chooses to remain within the traditional music and sound world. Born to Yemenite parents, he's also able to speak and communicate in Arabic and in the Yemenite Judo-Arabic dialect as well. He was even brought recently to Amman, the capital of Jordan, and performed at a wedding of a Yemenite politician as recent as 2018. All the crowd was Muslim and they sang popular Arabic songs. Though the general stream in Israel is actually towards the intertwining of new and old, both ethnic and electronic. In the late 80s, Ofra Chaza showed in first interest in combining the two worlds together and helped pioneer what we now think of as world music. Through the combination of her ethnic Yemenite heritage and electronic beats, she gained international stardom. Her widely accessible music was played in the 90s party clubs around the world. <laughs> of years, maybe 40 or so years forward, we meet Awa or Awa, which means yes in Arabic, but is also a popular Yemenite addition at the end of phrases, Awa. Awa is an all-female ensemble singing Yemenite songs, some traditional, some recently composed. What makes Awa stand from the crowd is that they sing solely in Yemenite Judeo-Arabic dialect. Their single, Habib Galbi, in 2016, was the first ever song to reach number one in the Israeli pop charts that was entirely in Arabic. Our first example from Ewa comes to us from Hanamash al-Yemen, which means here is not Yemen. It talks about the Yemen immigration coming into Israel. 
They use imagery like the pots on their head that they wear are jachnun um, pots, which jachnun or gachnun, depending which, which stream you are, uh, is a typical Jewish Yemenite food. Another fine example is the background, which is where the Yemenite people came into when they migrated to Israel. Also in the background, you see their dancers, which are wearing very, very typical um, regular vests, white vests and khaki pants. This is the exact kind of imagery that Yemenite people um, when coming into Israel would wear. The success of Ewa was actually very similar to Of Rechaza. They took the folk songs, they took the folk language and brought it into the mainstream and kept it alive through that. We will now see as a final clip, Habib Galbi. Um, and in the picture that you're now seeing on screen, this is part of it. Um, three guys dressed in modern clothing in an old house, again, thinking of Yemenite tradition moving forward. The three men are dancing Yemenite dance that we would have seen at the beginning and through the festives. And the matriarch is sitting there and watching them, watching their every step, maybe displeasing, maybe approving, you'd be the judge. <laughs>